When I come back, I'm gonna be snatched. I don't think you understand what I'm doing. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. I'm Debbie Crown. Where's the time? Where's my phone? 7.30 a.m. Um, it's Thursday. I was supposed to start this vlog on, I was supposed to start this vlog on Monday. But it's just been a really busy week and it's still continuing to be a busy week. But I've gotten a lot of my work out of the way. I fly out on Monday. Um, today, I'm actually going to Google to be on a panel. Like, what the hell? How did my name land in the room to be, like, one of the people that are going to be on this panel? It's so crazy. Like, you guys need to keep working and doing whatever it is that you love. Because you don't know who is carrying your name into a room with, like, big brands and companies. I need to start getting ready in like an hour. A lot has happened, which we're going to talk about, but I don't want to get into it because obviously I want to be in the right frame of mind for this panel that I'm going to be on so I can give them, you know, my good vibes and whatnot. But, um, and a lot is about to happen, which you can see on the title. Um, so I'm going to carry you guys along with all of that. Yeah. Just want to put a disclaimer. Now, whenever you see me vlogging like this and just doing whatever I want to do, it's when I don't have Aziza or she's just in the background and I'm just not showing you guys because I don't want to post her on YouTube. Like, her dad is here to look after her as well. And we have a nanny and we have a whole bunch of family that are always in the house. And when I say family, I mean like my mom, his mom, or my sister in laws. So she's always covered, don't worry, okay? I'm the one that is her main carer. I'm just not going to show that, like, because I don't want to. I want to show my me time, you know, and you're going to get that in an hour, in a week, and how many hours are in a week? A lot more than that. What I want to wear is this, put it aside already, so it is these cute shorts, where is it from, is it PLT, yep, these cute shorts from PLT, and then a black crop top with this on top. And then for shoes, I was thinking. These. And then my um, black YSL bag. So just cute, casual, something I can walk in, but I still look a little bit dressed up, you know? That's what I'm thinking of wearing. Um, cute outfit, really. Something cute. Alright guys, I'm going to check back in with you. I'm going to be going with my assistant. Um, so she's going to come meet me here. She lives literally down the road from me. Like, I feel like her and me was destined to work together because everything just fell into place when I met her. And she's been amazing. She's made my life ten times easier. And I pray that I become more successful just so that I can, I can pay her what she's worth. <laughs> um, even though I'm paying her what she's happy with at the moment. But I want to I wanna give her more. She deserves a lot more. But yeah, you guys, let me go get ready and I'll speak to you guys when I'm dressed. So guys, I'm ready. I just need to leave my lift here. Um, I'm going to do um, chestnut lip liner and Juvia's Place Sis. Where is it? Sissy? I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's actually... Oh, Sis with an exclamation point. It's not going to... Um, it's not gonna focus, but that is. That's the lip here that I wanna wear today. I've not been doing lipstick lately, just gloss. I don't know, I just find lipstick so long. It is, and the outfit came together so well. I had to put a headband on because the, with this color, the lace just doesn't look nice anymore. Um, because I've got makeup all over it. Let me try and get up on here. 
you can see the outfit. So these are the shorts, crop top, the blazer, and I will wear the um, I will wear the slippers when I get downstairs. I don't like wearing shoes in the house because that's just disgusting. So yeah, my toes look horrible, my nails look horrible, <laughs> but we move. I'm gonna be wearing Mason Francis Baccarat Rouge for my perfume. Literally bathing it. I literally bath in my first week because I don't want to have to be reapplying throughout the day. So, yeah, this is how we're looking. Let me start dry. Wait, I'm just waiting for Mia to arrive. When she gets here, I'm going to drive even though it's central London. So, I know that I'm making a mistake because obviously there's no parking in London. In central London, anyways, Westminster. But oh yeah, my earrings are the Primark as well. Literally, Primark. This is a pretty little thing, and it's only three pounds. But Primark have some really really nice jewelry, and it's so affordable as well. I'm so nervous. Guys. Really? Yeah. What do you mean, really? It's in front of eighty people, and they're all professionals. They have degrees and stuff. <laughs> I'm acting like I don't have a degree. Yep, two degrees. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Nita now, you guys. You can't see her because of the way the thing's positioned. I was thinking, can we go over the questions and like what kind of mm -hmm. replies I could possibly? I think did the brief give you replies? I don't no, know. it's just questions. Oh, it gave okay. me like the questions to expect, and I kind of came up with answers. So yeah. So you can just ask the question, and then I'll tell you what okay. I would possibly answer to it. Oh God, I'm so nervous. I can't believe I'm doing this without any like, like, um. Training, training or yeah. anything like I know people are oh this is how I had it perfect I know people are probably thinking you do YouTube like how can you be nervous but it's, different. it's so different it's like people live I don't see the people that are watching me yeah. imagine how hard YouTube. it is to just start YouTube alone and then speak in front of people no it's just ugh, nervous in central London We're waiting for the Uber to drop us to the um, office because we parked a bit far. Here's Debbie. This is my outfit I was telling you guys about. Don't watch my nails, my toes because I'm not allowed to wear any <laughs> nail polish or anything. But I'm just letting it drop off and then I'll just take the rest off like the day before. But yeah guys, I'm so nervous. It's currently... 11.43, we have two minutes to get there and the Uber is four minutes away. Three minutes now. <laughs> Could I have booked it? Huh? Should we just walk it? Walk it? Yeah. Okay. But it's actually just around the corner there. This is riding up my bum. So, <laughs> well, we decided to walk. And Debbie's walking in Kitten Hills. They're not even, do you know what it is? is not what hurts, it's the bit where my... Um, Your toes are? Yeah, that's oh, okay. where it hurts. I'm wearing trainers, you know. Comfy. Obviously by the title of this video you guys already know I'm off to get a lipo. 
Whew, liposuction. I'm like, actually, pop out of breath, you know. I'm off to get liposuction. I know some of you might be really so far. If you've been following me for a while, if you're on like OG subscriber or supporter, you already know that I've had this book since like 2019 and I've just been postponing and postponing and postponing it until I feel like now is the right time. I obviously don't plan on having any more kids just because I've had five pregnancies and I only have one living child and the last miscarriage was very, very traumatic for me, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's what made me decide that I'm not having any more kids, like I'm actually done with the whole pregnancy thing and trying to have like a big family, I'm done with it. <laughs> um, if you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, then you saw that I made these posts about, you know, pray for me, I'm about to go into a little surgery on the NHS. Um, and that's what this was. My body still thought I was pregnant, so the baby's heart had stopped like weeks before. But my body just still thought I was pregnant, so I was still feeling symptoms and everything. And I had a little bit of bleeding, and I didn't even think it was a big deal. Like, I was not that I was so sure I was gonna get to keep this pregnancy because obviously I had other previous miscarriages, but I didn't think it was a big deal. Like, I like me going in, I, j I just thought I was being overly like precautious. Um, so I went in, and then obviously they did a scan. And they were just like, yeah, the baby's heart has stopped beating. And it looks like it stopped beating a long time ago. And obviously to um, prevent, like, infection or whatever, they had to, like, clear out my womb. So what it was was me doing, like, a surgically-assisted um, miscarriage. So, yeah, that's what that was. And I, I was so nervous to go into surgery with the NHS, you guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, this one that I'm going into... Obviously, I've had my, I've like done my research since 2012. I actually, you guys, if you're OG, OG Sephora, man, you know that I booked Lipo in 2012 and then I changed my mind and I got my deposit back. And then 2019, I thought I needed a BBL, but now I'm in the right frame of mind. I know for a fact I do not need a BBL. Like, my body bangs already. Like, I have a banking shape. I know that my body, sorry to sound so big, I did. <laughs> I know that my body is some people's body goals. But I just want like that snatch in my stomach. And obviously you guys know I complain about my arms a lot. So I'm going to get 360 lipo, upper back lipo, skin tightening to snatch it all up. And arm lipo. But yeah, what I was saying was that I, I've researched this surgeon. I'm like confident with this surgeon. And obviously I'm going with Clinic Up again. You guys know that I use them for my gastric sleeve. Um, but then with the NHS one, to this day I don't know who performed the like surgery i don't know who it was all i met was the anesthesiologist like i didn't even get to go in the room until like obviously they put me to sleep but yeah i was just so nervous with the nhs because i don't know i just don't trust them like right now we're battling with the fact that when abdul had like a surgery on his arm they actually left plastic in his arm i'm not saying i'm not nervous about this but i'm less nervous about this because i've done my research for a long time and i'm just confident with you know going with clinic hub and and the surgeon that i picked so yeah guys i'm about to go start packing i'm going tomorrow i've got all the supplies that i need clothes wise i'm not taking much but um i did order like all the supplies that i need so that's mainly what my luggage is going to be i have some supplies that i've already ordered in istanbul and i'll get it from my private nurse i booked a private nurse to stay with me for like the whole duration of me being there because obviously abdul can't come with me we we can't both get and um, be away from our baby for like seven days so he's gonna stay with her and my mom is gonna come as well because obviously he has to work and stuff so just my mom the nanny and abdul keep our baby and i'm gonna go get snatched <laughs> i don't want any more kids i'm actually done so let me just live my life for me and Abdul and Aziza and that's just what it's gonna be so yeah guys let's go pack I wasn't gonna do a checked bag but I changed my mind because I want to be able to take my Floridax this is gonna be the only this is gonna be the only multivitamin that I take with me if you've been following me for a while then you know that I take iron like all the time but this has like everything that I need in it so I want to be able to take this and I want to be able to take my aqua four so that as soon as my incisions close up I'm gonna start putting aqua four in there rose hip oil yeah I just want to be able to take liquid so anyways let me show you some of the stuff I'm gonna take with me 
and beauty tubby just like a little disclaimer um i went back and forth about whether i wanted to even share this journey with you guys because i know some people are gonna leave hate comments <laughs> in the uk people don't agree with any cosmetic procedures at all um and they think everything is basically a bbl when i'm getting lipo i'm not getting bbl but yeah um i decided to share it with you guys because obviously i've been losing weight by myself i've hit my goal weight but obviously my stomach is still there i've hit my goal weight i've hit my goal like how i want my thighs and my bum to look um i don't want to lose any more weight so obviously this is the only way to get the like shape that i want and also i just know that some people that are not really like familiar with cosmetic surgeries or cosmetic procedures they're gonna think that i got the look from <laughs> my working out and my eating clean and I don't want young girls to now look at me and be like oh why don't I look like Debbie these times I've obviously got it enhanced um, and I'm not going anywhere from YouTube I'm still going to be posting on YouTube so yeah I have to share it I can't not share it because I just feel like I'll be a bit dishonest on my part and also um, because I'm getting this I'm not going to be doing inclusive hauls anymore and yes I have had women that have had like cosmetic surgeries BBLs, lipo, everything but it's my channel and I feel like the whole point was me being natural and comparing myself to other women. And yes, women with surgeries and women with cosmetic procedures, they do deserve to be represented as well. But I just don't feel right doing them anymore after I've had this procedure. I hope you guys can understand. And I feel like I've got so many, like I've, I've, like I've done so many of these videos that like you guys can kind of gauge how things are going to look like on me just by going back and watching them again. So yeah, now that that's out of the way, my nurse is going to be bringing me like my stage 2 Faha, my ad boards, my foams, um, my um, Arnica cream. I'll put a list of everything that she's bringing for me so that, so just know just because I'm not showing you this now doesn't mean I'm not going to get it. Um, but, so I've got these always pads and I'm going to be wearing them as underwear over my Faha and I've got two of those. So 16 altogether, I probably won't need 16 for the days, but I like feeling clean, so I might be swapping them out, like, regularly. I'm going to be getting skin tightening, but just in case I get any loose skin, I did get rock tape so that they can do the tape method for me. If I do happen to get... Why is it focusing on me? It's not focusing on this. So yeah, I did get some rock tape. Um, Just in case. Me, I'm going to just start putting them in. I think I'm going to... I think I'm gonna rip this and put it in. These were so helpful after I had a baby. I really, really love these. I got it in a size large just because of swelling and stuff. I think I even had large as well after I had a baby. I also got um, seven pairs of compression socks. I think I'll just take three pairs with me because I'm gonna be wearing them like for the first month after surgery just to like try and avoid blood clots i really booked my massages that i'm gonna be getting in turkey i'm gonna be getting two a day for the time that i'm there i think after the surgery i'm there for like six days so i'll basically have 12 massages for the first two weeks it's recommended that you get two a day when i get back to the uk um if i can find someone next to me to do my second massage i will do that like to have the additional two a day but if not i'll stick to the the person that I want to go to and just do one a day um, but if you can if you have someone next to you try and get to a day because like it really helps or at least one every day for the first two weeks then after the first two weeks I'm gonna be getting three a week um, until the third month and then I'll like make it less but this is why I'm telling you guys that I haven't really seen in the UK people do their um, aftercare properly how it's meant to be done so hopefully I can do it I know it's not easy so I'm not like trying to throw shade or anything um, so hopefully I can um, follow through with it I have to get a whole tin of marbles for me to just be able to get one the one that I want I've measured it to see which one I'll take two of me um, just to put on my belly button so that I don't get that like, you know, that coin slot <laughs> belly button. I'm just gonna put this in my bag. Or should I just put it in here? So even though I'm gonna get this from my nurse, I did get heavy scrub, just so I can be using it like the days before. So I'm gonna shower with it today. It's basically a like pre-surgical like wash kind of thing even in the nhs they gave this to me when i was having that um surgically assisted and um 
surgically assisted miscarriage they gave this to me so it's like to scrub the skin of any like anything that can cause infections and you're supposed to use this for a whole month after your surgery okay just to try and avoid any infections happening so you can get this on Amazon and I'm sure you can get it in anywhere like Tesco or like the big supermarkets I'm not gonna be able to bath for the first couple of days after so I got these like adult wipes that I'm gonna use to like clean my bath I'm gonna still try and do like a hoe bath but if I can't at least I've got that and I've got Arnica tablets obviously to help with swelling and to uh, help recover and then i've got rose hip oil for my incisions just to make sure that it heals well and then my mom was in the u.s so i did get her to pick me up um arnica tea let me show you guys arnica tea my mom got this for me from the u.s also the drops as well from the u.s she got it so i've got three of these i will just take how many is in a bag 25 and i'll just take one box with me and i'm just gonna use it you can either use it with cold or hot water obviously and i'll just put the drops in there as well then obviously i've got extra extra strength tylenol tylenol <laughs> tylenol um just for pain obviously bromelain i don't know if that's how you pronounce it but yeah i've got this because it helps with swelling as well so i'm going to be having this after then i've got this lymphatic support liquid drops um these are also to help with swelling and just to drain like everything all the fluids from me i also got surgical tape and i'm just going to use this to either close the incisions or just to hold the marble in place so that obviously my belly button looks normal afterwards yeah that's everything for now i'll switch you guys tomorrow hi guys so it's the next day and i'm just on the way to the bank to go um take out the last bit of money and then i'm gonna change maybe like 150 pounds 200 actually i'll do 150 pounds to lira just for food just for any little like bits that i get that's just your cab money cab money i'm not taking taxes i've got transfers oh yeah so clinic have arranged everything they arrange all the transfers from the from the airport to the hotel to the hospital back to the hotel anywhere i need to go they arrange it and then the private nurse that i got as well she will also take me about wherever i need to go like in their transportation so i patterned myself i don't have to take money but literally just for food like street food that i get so yeah guys um let's go get the money let's go to the airport what do you say yeah oh food and turkey is so good and now i'm gonna be like where i can actually go to proper places like you know we have chicken and chips here i can just go to little little places where last time we, we really didn't we just stayed in the hotel and ate their food all the time but yeah guys let's go let's go to istanbul So guys, I've just arrived. Um, and I'm about to do. I'm so tired. It's midnight here. I'm about to do a COVID test. <laughs> Hopefully, it comes up negative. Really and truly, I should have done one before I flew, but I'm pretty sure I don't have COVID. Um, the hotel that they put me at is the Radisson Blue. So nice, guys. It is so nice in here. I look a mess because obviously I was just rushing around to like last minute stuff. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing. This fashion is really nice. Yeah. Let me see. I'm gonna check back in with guys while I'm doing my COVID test and when I settle into the room, I'll show you guys what it looks like and everything. Guys, I'm in my room. So this is what it looks like. So this is the door. And then once you come in, you have the bathroom. 
super super cute it's clean and that's the most important thing um yeah walk and shower which you're gonna need if you're getting light bill if you're booking your hotel yourself make sure you have a walk in shower and not like a bath there's loads of mirrors here look and then obviously put my bags here and just a little bed it's basic but it's gonna do <laughs> is gonna do okay let me see you guys here the nurses are gonna come to my room to do my covid test apparently i can't believe i'm here you guys i can't believe i'm here and i can't let me get my light because i've got a light about to do my COVID test guys. When's the result tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow afternoon. Okay. So tomorrow do you know what time I'm going to the hospital tomorrow? I don't know. Call not her message. Okay. Let me message them and find out what time they're gonna pick me up tomorrow. Cause when I had my gastric sleep, they picked me up literally bright and early um, the next day. So I want to know so I can set my alarm. And also I've got a lot of work to do. So like I've got editing to do for some brands. So uh, yeah, I need to know. I need to call my friend. I can't believe I'm doing this, you guys. I was gonna cancel last minute, you know. That's why it was like a mad rush on the last day because it was the, literally the last day that I decided I was actually going to come and do this. Like, I've been wanting to do this since 2012, you guys. And it's just never been the right time. Like, I mean, mentally. Like, you need to be in the right mental state. And I mean, you need to make sure that you don't have body dysmorphia. Because when I wanted it, initially it was a BBL that I wanted. And I don't need a BBL. Like, now I know what I look like. Now I'm confident in myself. Like, I literally rock my natural body to the beach like with my food power my stretch marks everything but it doesn't mean that you know you can't improve on something that's already nice you know um and i know some people are not gonna understand that but that's your own problem that's not my problem like i'm confident now and when i get this done i'm gonna be even more confident like let me call shikisha and tell her that i'm here and are we really doing this <laughs> now nah, i can't believe i'm doing this you guys this is crazy this is the great Hey babe, I'm here. Where are you? I'm in the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. I'm so gassed that I'm doing this. Like I have no idea. Because you know you know you know because last minute is when I said I was gonna come in it, like yeah so i'm just so guys so i'm actually like i'm not and like, the next time you see me by god's grace i'm gonna have a flat stomach honey <laughs> like no one's gonna be able to chat to me no no just skin tightening not etching i don't like how etching looks so what do you mean skin tightening like they tighten your skin so it's not loose you know how some people need a tummy tuck so you're gonna do a small one not tummy tuck skin tightening it's like j plasma like so make your skin tighter not like stitches okay, or anything stick. yeah stitches anything. no just it's just skin anything. tightening yeah it's like a i don't even know what it is i don't know like a vibration or something i don't know i'm gonna ask okay. i'm gonna ask the doctor loads of questions it depends on the person's like 
what's it called skin elasticity as well so it's not everybody that is some people they suggest to just get um tummy tuck but he said to me yeah he said to me i don't need a tummy tuck that i just need skin tightening and that's all so yeah. <laughs> I know, I just pray everything goes well. I've been writing some blue. This is this is okay. It's cute. We can we can manage. So how long is the recovery? How long you stay altogether? Eight days. Okay. Actually, no, it's not eight days. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven nights. I'm leaving on I'm leaving on, on Tuesday next week. You were all one day remove your drainage and stuff. Or the healing, you just can go home and heal anyway, so it's not something that you need to stay to heal. Yeah, but apparently the flight back, I don't even know. Yeah, it's very uncomfortable. I don't know. It can be because just because you're going to be more sore, obviously, that and also, God forbid, sore, God forbid like any like, um, what's the word, complication. You know, I booked a, a, a private nurse, right? I booked a nurse for like, um, my whole trip here, so I'll be wasting money if I oh, left, uh, yeah, I'll be wasting money if I left earlier. I'm oh, just gonna say, yeah, because she, earlier. you know, all the stuff that okay. you get in the hospital, like them checking your yeah. vitals, like every now and again, yeah. that's what she'll be doing, like with me. I, this one is staying with me 24 hours, watching me while I sleep and everything. It's a pleasurable, they will be fucking up right now. <laughs> <laughs> Cry, why can I not stand you? <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand you, that is so. I just feel like better safe than sorry, right? It's cool, but you're so freaking funny. I don't know why you're so funny. <laughs> when I come back, I'm gonna be snatched. <laughs> I don't think you understand what I'm doing. It's so crazy. I was just telling my vlog that that. Right now, the way I look, I already feel like I'm that bitch. Like, no one can tell me nothing. Like, so, literally, because they're going to be like, oh, you, you don't, you, um, you need to love yourself. Oh, bitch, I love myself already. Okay? I love myself. Already. It, exactly. There's no, there's no cap on how much confidence you can have in life. Like, yeah. Yeah, as long as you're safe, that's what you're doing. You're making sure you're paying to make sure that you're safe. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, as long as you're safe, you have to, I people. Good morning, guys. So I've just ordered breakfast. I asked for well done eggs, and why is there water in my eggs? Like, ugh, yogurt, potatoes, and some pastries. I just tried one sausage, and it just doesn't hit. <laughs> Nothing is nice, like. I'm going to force myself to have some because I need my energy to be <coughs> so yeah I'm going to try and have a little bit of breakfast just so I have like energy for the day obviously I've got tests and whatnot. I just this egg just ugh it's just nowhere I'm eating that I'm not going to lie to you that looks just, even the potatoes why is it not white Try it. I wrote my phone. You'll do your blood work. I'll drive or pick it by 11 a.m. I just got a text from Clinic Hub that um, the driver's going to pick me up by 11 so I can go do my blood work. <laughs> it all starting to feel real now. Oh my god. I can't believe it. This is a woman. Believe it. <laughs> yeah. That's not nice. got back from the hospital they didn't let me vlog like when I was getting tested and stuff but um I stopped at the grocery store and basically you guys can you see why I need 
the stomach lever like i have hips already but let me show you let's, go, let's back it up a little bit in fact let me move you guys up so you guys can really see what i'm talking about so as you guys can see i have hips yes i have hips already nice amazing shape like even from the back you can't tell that i have the stomach that i have my bum is nice and everything but and even from the front it's not that that bad but then when i turn to the side do you guys see like this has got to go and i don't want like my my lower body i love how it looks i want it to stay like this i don't want to get any skinnier so yeah yeah, but I, last time I couldn't eat because of gastric oh, I wish I was here true. and I would bring Katmer again yeah. <laughs> Three years ago Yeah, this is nice though Thank you so much You're welcome Just try to finish with ice cream before it's melted Yeah But Yes, that's pretty much like this <laughs> <laughs> Like at 10 uh, What would you rate this at 10? Mm. <laughs> eh? Right, that's yeah. a good number. Well, I think I prefer it after I've eaten like a salty food uh -huh. as like dessert afterwards. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. the ice cream's oh, nice as well. Yeah, I could only eat cream. one at a time, mm. I can't eat the whole thing. <laughs> really? So, I'm gonna, yeah, but you cannot because of how you, sweet it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can make it rated, rate it, rate it, mm -hmm. rate it then mm -hmm. you eat slowly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, that's dangerous. I can <laughs> get back all the weight I lost. <laughs> no, you're doing good. Yeah, exactly. So you're taking a vlog for, yes. for your journey. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do you have advice Actually, for anyone? You have, lots of, you have lots of followers, by the way. Yeah. Like I saw them. Yeah. <laughs> They're pretty much. <laughs> do you have advice for anyone coming to do surgery at Clinic Hub? Oh. Just come and see how sweet we are. <laughs> <laughs> we are indeed. Yeah, we are, are sweet, okay? <laughs> yeah, they're really nice here. No, no, no. Like, we just want you to see and we want you to give the um, feedback, actually. Not, we're not gonna force you for anything. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty much like that. Yeah, uh -huh. we are waiting for you. Yes, thank you so, so much. We are gonna be you know, with all your steps you have in Turkey, so you don't have to worry about anything. Yes, we are gonna take you from airport and we are gonna <laughs> leave you back to there. And then at this moment, you are gonna have a great time with us. I believe that I'm working here, and from bottom of my heart, what I do here is uh, just uh, have to say press uh, priceless or something like that. Priceless. Yeah. I think so, yes. Honestly, that's what that's what my favorite thing about Clinic Hub. I don't have to think about anything. Mm -hmm. You just like put everything in their okay. hands yeah, and patient coordinator. Literally, that's what I love. Like I don't have to book my transfers, mm -hmm. I don't have to book anything. Just come and they sort you out. <laughs> yeah. Cause I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> also it's another country, so you might feel like I mean you have some yeah. concerns, like is it safe or not? Like you don't feel alone because you have like people that um that are there to like help you. How's everything? How are you Good, for thank your surgery? You. I'm nervous. Guys, <laughs> 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 I just came to see mm -hmm. Dr. Barat. Oh, hello. Yes. yes. Well, welcome, welcome again. Thank you. Don't, don't don't worry. First of all, how was the flight? Oh, it was long. <laughs> long. <laughs> I was sitting in front of a child that kept hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that, yeah. that, that's like a rule, right? Yeah. Okay, how, how, how was the transfer? Was it on time? Yeah, everything was perfect. Ah, did you like the hotel and everything? Yeah, the hotel was nice. Oh, yeah. okay, that's good. I believe you have some questions for me. Yeah. But before that, I got some for you. Okay, okay yeah, sure. I'm going to, I'm going to quickly okay. uh, question your medical history. So okay. tomorrow morning, we will say good morning to each other and okay. then you will go to operation theater. Okay. okay? <laughs> so, Am I the first one tomorrow? Uh, possibly you are. Okay. okay. Cool. Uh, so first of all, do you have any allergies? No. Okay. Are you wearing metal things on your body, piercings? Your no, I took it out. That's, that's yeah. great. Are you using birth control pills? No. In the last two months, for any reason, did you use any hormone pills or birth control pills? No. Well, did you have any surgeries before? Um, I had gastric sleep three years ago Jeez, and a couple of months I had to have a surgical, um, I had a miscarriage, okay. but they surgical had to remove abortion. it, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. okay. So, as far as you remember, after those surgeries, did you experience something like vomiting, dizziness, skin rash, something unexpected? No, only just right after I came out of gastric sleep, just a bit of 
vomiting, vomiting after out. that. That's okay. expected for you. Yeah. Don't worry about that. That yeah. means you have a tendency tomorrow, uh, the, the, tomorrow uh, afternoon, you might experience the same thing. Okay. I'm going to increase your uh, dosage of medication okay. automatically, but that might happen. Don't worry okay. about it. Do you have any chronic diseases such as asthma, diabetes, no. or something like that? No, diabetes runs in my family, but I don't have diabetes. That's good. And yeah. that surgery, actually, liposuction itself, helps that. So okay. it's going to, I would say, lower your insulin tolerance. So okay. it's helpful. And are you using any medication daily, routinely, periodically? No. Nothing else? Nothing? No. Great. So it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I have a few. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. Take your time. How many incisions? Because I'm doing six. Up. Six. Uh, on arms, right? I'm doing arms, upper back, and 360. That means eight. Okay. okay. Three on your tummy. Okay. Uh, one in your belly button. Uh, okay. The other two will be in your genital area. Okay. So in the hair bearing skin, they will not be visible. Okay. Uh, on your back, one in in middle of your bum cheeks. Okay. And two under your brow line. Okay. About your arm lipo, right here. Okay. okay. So they are quite invisible. Okay. okay. Cool. Um, how do you prevent lipo burns? Oh, actually, uh, there there are special things like limiting the vaser duration mm -hmm. or giving you some anti-clotting medication. But lipo burn is basically about the nature of your medical history. For example, okay. there are some risk factors. Number one risk factor is repetitive liposuction surgeries. Oh, okay. So if you had lipo before, you are in a more in more risk. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are a smoker. If you have sickle cell trait, mm -hmm. if you have anemia, if you have arthritis, yeah. so if you don't have any of these conditions, possibly uh, you aren't going to experience any life over. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, instruments like sterilized properly, basically. Of course, I mean, this, this is an A plus hospital, okay. so everything is properly sterilized. Okay. Don't worry about. It. And what's the risk of puncturing an organ? Because I heard that's a big risk, especially with like. Upper back lipo. Oh, okay. According to my experience, yeah. zero. Oh, really? Okay, <laughs> I mean that that, that has. You mean your history? <laughs> yes, I mean You've never that, that, that. I mean these complications are really old. Oh, I mean okay. right now the technology is quite advanced. Uh, the the machines, the devices we are using are quite ex advanced. Okay. That's why I I had never experienced such a thing. Plus. Uh, my friends, my colleagues, I have never heard such a thing for a long time. Okay. These things are, they are knowledgeable, they are known in medical history, yeah. in medical papers, but mm -hmm. as I told you, that's, that, that's, that's something quite hard to do actually. Okay. Unless, for example, you have a hernia, okay. and so there, there, there should be some underlying conditions mm -hmm. to, okay. uh, so that might lead to that. So, oh, yeah. uh, as I told you, don't worry about this. Okay, okay? that that's mm -hmm. was my big worry, because when I told people I was getting upper mm -hmm. back lipo, they were like, that's the worst, it's that like you oh. bleed a lot and uh -huh. things like that. No. No, <laughs> directly no. Okay. So do you do um, upper back a lot? Of course, of course. Okay. I, I think every day. I oh, mean, really? Okay. In order to secure that glass hour shape, you yeah. have to do upper back. Okay. That, that's the thing. Okay, okay. cool. Yeah. Um, oh, how do you do skin tightening? Like, I've, I only heard about it here. Mm -hmm. I've only heard of, like, um, what's it called? Laser. Skin tightening, which one? The, what I'm doing with you. Yeah, skin yes, tightening. you are. You, yeah, actually, we are, I will be using three devices in your case. Okay. Uh, number one, first, before starting your liposuction, I will be using laser, ultrasound acid liposuction machine, okay. which uh, melts down the underlying tissues around your fats. Okay. And also, it stimulates skin retraction because okay. it gives ultrasonic energy. You see, when you burn the cover around the cigarette boxes, it, retracts, it shrinks, yeah. the same logic, okay? okay? So with ultrasound energy, I'm going to boost your skin retraction okay. and I will melt down the underlying tissue like ligamentous tissue, soft tissue around your fat. Okay. That's number one. Number two, I will be using power assisted liposuction device, which is basically a vibrating liposuction device, but it vibrates in a special way. Mm -hmm. It's, again, it creates micro trauma to boost your retraction again. So okay. this is number two. Number three is laser skin tightening machine. Mm -hmm. it, again, it's this time it is using the heat energy, uh, the laser energy to retract your skin. Okay? okay. So I will be using three different devices, okay. but the most decisive factor about your skin retraction is your genetics. Yeah. If you are genetically lucky, if you yeah. are genetically have a tendency for that, you will retract greatly. Okay. In the past, there, there are so many patients they, that they surprised me a lot because I was not expecting such a nice skin retraction, mm -hmm. yet they did. Yeah. But in the past, the, the other way happened also. I was expecting a great retraction from a couple of patients mm -hmm. that did not happen. So okay. it's impossible to foresee before the surgery. Okay.
Yeah, that's everything. <laughs> that's so yeah, I, was, okay. I asked all the other questions mm -hmm. before, but those are the last ones that I just okay. understand. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel more confident now. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. If you have questions uh, tonight, if you remember them, just write them down. Okay. Uh, tomorrow morning, I will come into your room like at around half past seven. I will okay. be in your room. Right, guys, so I've just gone to the hospital and I wanted to show you guys how the room looks. The bathroom's over there, but I'll show you guys in a second. Like, it looks way nicer than the hotel that I'm staying at. This is the um hotel. This is the hotel. This is the hospital that I also stayed in for my gastric sleeve. So I'm like used to it. Really nice. And then look at the bathroom that you get in your hospital. Walk-in shower, obviously, because you need that when you have label. How cute, you guys! Very nice. Like I don't feel like I'm in a hospital. And I feel like that helps with like your mental state. Um, I'll check back in with you guys a little bit later anyways. When I'm getting wheeled off into surgery because I'm the first one. Wish me luck guys, pray for me. You have only a couple of stretch marks. Yeah. That means you will experience a nice skin retraction after your surgery. So you can risk it. But it's impossible to guarantee a complete mm -hmm. flat tummy. Yeah. Yet you have a nice chance about it. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to tell you is, we are going to do a nice liposuction for you, mm -hmm. and you will get really good post-operative care like massages, mm -hmm. abdominal bursts, and faha. Yeah. I will be informing you, informing you step by step. Don't okay. worry about it. And six months later, if we have a really flat tummy, that's wonderful. Okay. The worst case scenario, you are going to have a little excessive okay. skin here. Okay. In that case, you will have to come Invisible. back to me for a mini tummy. Okay. Six months after your surgery. Okay. okay? So I told you this. Yeah. Forget about this. Okay. Now just focus on your surgery. Okay. okay? That's fine. So, so sorry, don't worry, okay. Now I'm gonna need you to inhale and hold your breath just a couple of seconds. Copy the copy of the knees. Okay, let it go, please. I will do a little bit like section here as well. Okay, so in the table, you will look great. Okay. And no skin, extra skin, nothing. That's but true, yeah. after surgery, you will get swollen a little bit. Okay. okay. So we need to manage that swollen time okay. wisely, let's say. Okay. okay. And you might turn your back to me, please. That's good. I believe I'm going to inject everything I harvested from you. Is that true? No, no, no. Nothing? No BBL. No BBL, just like what? Just like what? Okay, no problem. I'm going to reshape okay. your upper hips, okay? Okay. So you are going to get rid of these love handles. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this here, yeah? Yes. Okay. You are going to experience a nice change. Okay. First, in the middle proportion, I will perform your lipo up to your upper brow line, but okay. also I will draw your upper back, okay? Okay. <laughs> She says that I'm drawing really nice. I'm <laughs> now I'm drawing your upper back. Okay. This area I'm not going to do lipo. Okay. Because vessels in here mm -hmm. will provide blood for all your trunk. Okay. So this area is really crucial for me. Okay. Are you doing the arm lipo as well? Yes. yes. Okay. So during your arm lipo, do you want me to do shoulder lipo as well? Um, what do you think? When I, if I do that, you are going to get smaller around your shoulders. Or if, if you are happy about how wide you are, okay. you should not. But if you want to get smaller... I want it to be all in symmetry, so okay. if it will look nicer, then I would like you to do it. <laughs> okay, you see, I, I like that. I yeah. like the shoulders and hips to be in the same width. Okay. So maybe I'm going, I can do just a little shoulder like what you Nothing something really okay. aggressive. Okay, because as you know, some patients, they want really small. Uh -huh in their shoulder region. As long as this arm um, is lighter, that's all that matters. Okay, don't worry. You are getting this automatically. I'm talking about yeah. this area, okay? Debe, are you ready for your surgery? Yes, I am ready. Uh, the, there is only one question mark, which is about your 
same skin, uh, your extra skin, we will see how we'll, it will retract. Okay. And we will see that if in the long term we are going to need a mini femta corner. So that is the only question mark. Other than that, everything is settled out, okay? And how long is this surgery going to be? Yeah, possibly two and a half hours okay. or something like that. So exactly three hours later you will be in here, okay? Okay. So you are going down. Okay, um, I feel like I sweated a bit. Will uh -huh. you clean the areas you're going to incision? You're going to put the incisions first. Sorry, time Will you it. clean the area uh -huh. before you do the incisions? That's right. Okay, okay. okay. we are going to completely wash you. We are going to okay. sterilize you. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Take care. All right, okay, see. so this all clinic up is here for you. I'm, 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 I'm leaving you alone with them. All right. All right then. See you downstairs. Okay. Right. Take care. Okay. Bye bye. You too. Hello. You guys probably can't see me properly, but I'm out of surgery. Everything went well. Um, I've even done my first walk. I'm super tired. I felt no pain since I came out of surgery. Um, so I think whatever painkillers that they give you here really work. The only thing is my arms are sore. But as you can see, I'm actually holding up my phone. So it's not so sore that I can't do anything. My first walk went well. I've been drinking lots of fluids and water. I'm having a protein shake right now and about to have some Subway. So yeah, I still have my catheter in and um, obviously I'm in my faha already. I'm wearing a size small faha, bitch. <laughs> Since when was I a size small? And what else you guys? Oh my God, the only thing was that when I first came out of surgery, I was freezing cold, like shaking. But the nurse that I hired, she was already like, she planned ahead for it. She bought a heater. And she you know those hot water bottles that you use like when you're on your period. She bought two of those and she put them on my feet and she put like big blankets over me. And literally, I feel like within like an hour, I had stopped shaking and I was like, my body was like back to room temperature. So yeah, you guys definitely invest in a nurse because there's no way like i feel like even if i bought like abdul or like my assistant or anything they wouldn't know what to do like because they're trained nurses and they've obviously been other people's companions before they know exactly like what you need before you even like ask them so yeah and she also like cut me some fruits so that was the first thing i had actually apart from water i had some broth that the nurses like in the hospital gave me that was disgusting but i read from one of like the girls that have done surgery before they were like whatever they give you just take it so that you like get your strength up and yeah you're gonna be up and about and just try and walk as much as possible because i actually feel pretty normal again already like what the hell it's crazy i feel like i'm dreading the first massage though i feel like that one is actually gonna hurt um but otherwise i'm actually not in pain or anything it's crazy i was really dreading like the pain when i woke up the only bad thing was just the shivering of being cold but that's it i think i'm gonna get some rest now i'll probably check back in with you tomorrow morning when dr barat comes to see me morning guys so it's the next day um it is what's the time 8 20 a.m and i'm starting to feel like that i had lipo today <laughs> yesterday i didn't feel anything like zero pain but the feeling is like you have carpet burn everywhere that there's lipo so i'm just having a protein shake once you come out of surgery make sure you're drinking fluids you have fruits protein shakes all of that just to help your healing process like come along quicker i'm waiting for the um surgeon He's going to come and check me and just see that I'm healing all right. And yeah, guys, not really much to say. Um, I'm going to be going back to the hotel today. So I want to get, I want to change this faha because the faha that they give you here is separate. So it's like the faha for the body and then they have the arm part separately and it just keeps kind of sliding off. So I want to get like an all-in-one faha that, you know, it's not going to slip off so that I know that I'm being compressed properly. But yeah, you guys, I'm going to show you guys my whole setup of how I look once at the surgeon comes and I get up. But yeah, guys, that's, that's everything for now. I look a whole mess. And I'm just so bored. Like, I am bored. I want to go back to the hotel. I want to work. I want to do something. 
I'm about to have my first massage, guys. I took um, a painkiller before, but apparently it's still gonna hurt, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how to do tape method? I'm sorry? Do you know how to do tape method? Let me show you. For what? For stomach? Uh, for this tummy tuck, you know? Uh, I don't know it's standing okay, don't in worry. front to me, but if you want. No, you don't know how to do it, don't worry. <laughs> okay. There's only people that know how to yeah, do it. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Is that safe to use with my incisions? Uh, I think you, I think you should uh, first you should ask your doctor. Yeah. After that tomorrow she makes for because you. Because sometimes it happens allergic things. Yeah. And after that, the bounce, your uh, skin is red, getting red. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the baby oil. Is it, is it safe? Oh, the it's the baby oil. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah? Okay. I'm using it for myself. I'm scared it's going to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not hard. It's all right. I'm being very gentle. Okay. Sound. Oh, it's normal. It's after the surgery inside fluid. Yeah. You have a state fluid. Mm -hmm. And it's being drained. Uh -huh. Is this your first cosmetic surgery? Yes. I had gastric sleeve three years ago. Oh, yeah. 2019. How was it? Yeah, it was good. It's perfect. It's a lost weight. Yeah, I lost a lot of weight. Numb. I need to check. I need to check when I can get the tape method because I'll have loose skin if I don't do it at the bottom. What's the tape method? Like to pull your skin back to make it retract so that you don't get um, loose skin. You know, at the bottom there's hanging skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You mean the foam and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, one sec, I want to check when I can get it. Look, so I see the tape that I was saying. Yeah, I know the tape. Oh, you know it? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you don't know it? No, just I, my companion didn't inform about this. Oh, okay. I found these people that can do it. Can you massage me with the tape on? I'm sorry? Can you still massage me with the tape on? Not the massage time, mm -hmm. after the massage. Amazon, but these people they have the tape already. The like a care turkey, uh -huh. you know them? Yeah. Like the massages? Yeah. Yeah, they said they'll do it the day before I fly. So I'll just go to them. Ah, okay. Yeah, because I leave on Tuesday, so I'll go to them on Monday to put the tape on. Okay. Yeah. Can you see Shikisha? I can see it, it looks wicked. Yeah, but well, the bottom needs to be taped. Where's the creases you're seeing at the bottom, right? Yeah, it needs to be taped up. Let me show you what it is. I mean, and it's well, so wait, so the skin tightening that they did, did it help? It did help, it helped all over, but that bit is the worst. That was the bit that he was scared of, that I was going to need um, a mini tummy set. He did say it beforehand. 
He said that um yeah, he talk, no, he said that after six months we'll see how your skin retracts. If it retracts well, he said he can't tell whether my skin's gonna retract well or not. But after six months, if it doesn't retract well, that I should come back to him for a mini top. But he said he's just telling me just in case. But he said we should try it without doing a mini tummy top first and just see what happens. But this is small compared to other people's. Like, um, I've seen worse That's than this. Before. You have to remember, she is the son who used to push her to be gay. If you, if you did a rap, I did yeah. a rap story. You know, I don't no, there's bad, there's bad things I can do. I don't think I'm going to need a tummy top. Do people I'm normally cry in their first massage? Yeah, sometimes. Really? Maybe your hands are good though. <laughs> your hands are probably soft. Oh, but they press all your arms out. Yeah? Look how I'm naked in front of me like this. <laughs> I've never seen your arms this full. Your arms look a bit solid though. They don't, the skin's not that bad on them at all. No, yeah, no, the skin's not bad. They retracted well. Literally, the only yeah, part that didn't retract was where I had my food part. But all I've got to do is the tape method. I feel so much happier now that it doesn't look as bad as I thought it looked yesterday. All I need, all I need is for it to get taped up, and it'll be good. Yeah. Okay, she just bought me a new faha because I didn't like the one that I had initially. So this one's all in one, but it's quite long, isn't it? The yeah but at I least it won't cut me here this one is yeah. cutting you down yeah, yeah, and i yeah. want it to be more comfortable yeah and the back is all closed yeah from the front and this way perfect and when will you measure me for my stage two uh the last day okay. like let's say you're leaving on the third of august no tuesday i'm leaving tuesday okay uh wednesday you mean tuesday. monday Monday, Monday, Monday yeah. evening, we okay. can take the measurements and I can send you the stage two. Okay. Because we want to take the last measurement you have. Yeah. If I take it right now, you may be more mm -hmm. swollen than Monday. Mm -hmm. So it's better to take it the last day. But I can, when I get to London, I can always get Taylor to yes. cinch it for yes, me. Yes, of course. Yeah, okay. All right, guys, it's a little bit later after I've had my massage. What should I put you guys? Because I want you guys to see how mobile I am, like... It definitely depends on your personal pain threshold because I feel great now. Like the massage wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. That's bad for the light. The massage wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be because all my friends that have got it done were like, it's the worst thing on earth. But for me, it made me feel better. These are my two drains. Obviously, like your body needs to drain like all the um, fluids and blood and all that. Sorry if you find that disgusting. But, um, yeah, like, I feel like, I feel good, <laughs> I feel good, I feel back to normal, well, not 100% not back to normal, I feel like I've done loads of exercises, at the moment, I changed into a new forehead that I got from my, my private nurse, her company, this one is an all-in-one, these are just like my thighs, not my JJ. I'm wearing an always, um, what's it called, one of those, like, one of those always disposable underwear that just soaks up blood and yeah this for her has it's like an all-in-one so it comes with the arms and obviously the corset and the legs whereas the one i had from clinic of earlier it was separate arms and i didn't like it because it just wasn't comfortable but this one is much more comfortable still a stage one where it's like proper snatching me but yeah, like, so the only pain that I have felt so far on this journey was last night. In the middle of the night, oh my god, it was so uncomfortable. I don't know where all that pain came from. But as soon as I got up, um, I had some painkiller and the ones that Clinic Club gave me. And then after that, once I had my massage, I just felt way better. Everyone says that after their massages, they end up, um, every single time it makes them feel like a little bit better a little bit better a little bit better i'm so bad at like explaining stuff but you know what i mean so hopefully by like my fifth massage i should feel great i ordered some nigerian food yep i found nigerian food in turkey <laughs> well it was my um private nurse that she knows the company and she was like oh you're nigerian i've got a, a nigerian restaurant i can order for you from and she ordered for me so i'm just waiting for the food to get here this is my little setup I just have a towel on the bed even though i'm not dripping blood anymore and when i did drip blood it was literally just like a couple of drops because i've got the drains the girls that have like l so much blood on them it's because they don't have drains they just like free bleed and that's just like nasty um, no that's just disgusting <laughs> so yeah i'm still having my protein shakes my water my diarrhea i don't know if i showed you guys but 
I've been using Dyrolite in my water just to make sure that I absorb like all the what's it called hydration. I don't know how to explain stuff. I've had some nuts as well. Just trying to keep myself like hydrated. And right now I'm just walking up and down the room so that my blood flows and I don't get a blood clot. So you have to get up every hour and walk for five minutes. I've not been doing it every hour. Like I could get up now and walk for like 20 minutes. So then I would just rest for like a few hours and then get up again. Yeah, guys. I'm so happy that I've got it over and done with and it wasn't as bad as everyone said it was going to be. Like it was not even half as bad as everyone said it was going to be. Yeah, my food is here. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Hopefully you like it. She's gonna try Nigerian food for the first time. <laughs> so I'll tell you guys if it's nice as well if it is, I'll drop like the name in the description box. Thank you. Um, moving is the most painful part. Back when you really feel it. I got my chill guys. I'm just watching Breaking Bad. I ain't gonna lie, it doesn't look like proper flavorful, but I haven't really chai. I haven't really had like amazing food here yet, so this just might, you know, satisfy me. I need to get a comfortable position. I'm really not comfortable. Yeah, this is better. What would you give me? Smells good. No. I mean, what will you pay me for this car? Okay, nice. Well, I'm not really looking for hundred dollars. It's nice for like you've been in another country and missing your your home food. But if we're in London, this wouldn't cut it. She's all yours. It's decent. I'm gonna. So guys, it's a little bit later. I've just been chilling, but now we're about to go to the mall. Let's show you my little basic bitch outfit of the day. I can't even see me for this time. I'm gonna cover. Yes. I am just wearing, I'm gonna go all the way back. Plain black dress from, it's like a spaghetti strap. Ew, this is so nasty, let me put it away. Um, yeah, this plain black dress from Primark and this denim jacket from. Pretty little thing, compression stuck some clinical and slides from Gucci. That's what I'm wearing. I look a mess, but I want to walk. I've not been walking, so it's best for me to just go to the mall. So I have no choice but to like walk around. Look at my hair. I can't, I can't reach back properly. I can't reach back properly to um, put my hair back. I'm gonna wear sunglasses anyways. You guys know my trusty friendly sunglasses. I have a lot of like um I have other luxury sunglasses but these are my favorite like I can't I can't I need when I get back to London I'm gonna go shopping because there are some Balenciaga ones that I want and I think those could also be everyday ones for me but for right now I don't wear no low-end sunglasses I don't wear no other high-end sunglasses and before I had like favorite ones from Pretty Little Thing <sighs> but yeah drainage and we may also combine it with wood therapy as well as we go on mm -hmm. so the first thing I'm going to do for this session is just assess you see where you are with your healing check if there's any um, irregularities def uh, deformities forming 
any ceramics and things like that. So we're really checking just to make sure everything's adhering as it should be. Okay. Everything's nice, right and tight. Um, and then we're going to move on to the massages. Um, with um, lymphatic drainage, essentially it's all post-op care. Mm -hmm. So you need someone that is able to spot um, the complications, i.e. ceramics, someone that knows how to rectify them. You need to go to someone that's trained, that knows about anatomy, that knows where we're opening up, where we need to go. And just also be able to keep an eye on you in terms of your health, just to make sure that you know certain things don't go under the radar and are not missed because you don't know about them. Yeah. How many massages do you reckon that all the girls should do if they get lipo? So if you get a lipo or a BBL, I would recommend between 15 to 20. Okay. It seems like a lot, however, the first couple of sessions you might not be able to tolerate um, the pressure that mm -hmm. we apply, um, just simply because you just had lipo. And essentially, that surgery, even though people see it as just lipo, it's essentially trauma to the body. Mm -hmm. So we have to take our time with draining and just making sure we're not creating more problems or complications as we're doing that. Okay. So I would say about uh, 15 to 20 sessions is recommended for anyone that's had um, lipo suction, anyone that's had a tummy tuck maybe, but with a tummy tuck the protocol is slightly different. Um, BBLs as well, about 15 to 20, just to make sure that your skin mm -hmm. um, adheres back to the muscle wall how it should do. There's no uh, spaces for any fluid to come in or mm -hmm. anything like that. Um, so yeah, what I was complaining about completely gone like it looks so good now like and natural as natural as it can be when you get cosmetic surgery but yeah look at the shape again this is still gonna go like it's still getting flatter and flatter and flatter like it's just been getting smaller and smaller but I love my shape now I'm not like wanting to wear what's it called anymore spanks or anything even if this was to stay forever i'm happy like and you know i used to complain about my boobs i don't even want to do them anymore because i'm just so happy with my shape now like made such a difference guys what can you see this super happy so happy so obviously i paid for my surgery um, but Clinic Hub, obviously when they knew that I had followers, I have offered you guys a discount, £100, if you guys book anything with them. You guys now did gastric sleeve with them, so if you do a gastric sleeve with them, they'll give you £100 off. If you do lipo, BBL, or whatever, they'll give you £100 off. It's only £100, so don't base who you go to do your surgery with just on the discount. To me, £100 off is literally nothing. If you were already deciding if you were already planning on going to clinic hub then obviously use the discount i'm going to put the link in the description box that they've given for my followers um if you've already done your research and you were already going to go to them then obviously you can use the 100 pounds discount do not base this life changing decision on 100 pounds off guys because well your surgery is going to cost thousands anyway so i'd like to think that the 100 pounds is nothing to you and then on, on top of that you need to pay thousands for your aftercare so i really hope that you've saved all of that money and this is not like your deciding factor but like i said if you're already going to them or like you know because of my results you like my results and you're going to my doctor then obviously because me i went to my doctor because a few of my friends had already gone with him and they said how really how nice he is i like the fact that whenever i dm clinic help they just get back to me straight away like my actual doctor will send me voice notes and stuff and he remembers me and he remembers the previous surgery i've had i never had the surgery with him obviously i went with clinic help but i never had the surgery with him but he knows like my medical history like he knows me by name and everything and i really like that so yeah this isn't me saying go and do this with him or, or go and do this with clinic hub but like i said this kind is there if you guys want it i'm gonna post my next vlog on sunday i'm gonna try and post vlogs every 
I keep looking outside. I'm gonna try and post vlogs every Wednesday and Sundays. So from I've actually filmed quite a lot of vlog footage, like me recovering and stuff. So expect more vlogs from me. So Sunday I'll post the next one where you guys will see like my aftercare, how I put my faha on. Um, I get my massages from Kiss Beauty. I think that's their name. The nurse there, her name is Joanne. She's the one that owns it she is freaking amazing like she is so good at what she does she's also offering you guys 10 percent off i think it's 10 percent off if you use debbie 10 you'll get 10 percent off with her she's amazing you guys and she's in south london and i never knew that she was there so i was actually going to east london before um i was going to someone that was also good but i love joanne from kiss she is oh she's amazing she knows the body because she was actually studying for a medical degree and she dropped out so she knows like she's like half a doctor basically she knows anatomy and she knows what she's doing like literally i've tried three people and she's the best and i'm sticking with her she's amazing love her love you joanne <laughs> all right guys um yeah that's it for me for this vlog i will speak to you guys on sunday in the next vlog you get to see my body tomorrow again i've got massage so i will show you guys i'll be showing you guys like as we go along anyway thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed the vlog make sure you like it make sure you subscribe if you haven't already more vlogs to come um what else don't forget to always work hard and slay even harder don't forget <laughs> i'll speak to you guys in my next one bye guys